Entertainment and Events Plaza in Carbondale is officially in the works and it's thanks to a multi-million dollar grant. It has a nearby businesses excited. Colin Bailey has more. This empty field just off of South Washington and Carbondale will soon be a home to a new entertainment and events plaza. The space is already used for events, but the city is adding a stage and parking. We're very excited about it. Sitting just a block away is Trace Ombres. General Manager Taylor Vaughn tells me her business always sees an uptick when events are held in that nearby space. She believes this new facility will continue that trend. It's never been a time where there's we haven't had extra foot traffic, which is amazing. Um, you definitely, you know, we just want to cater to everybody and as they, all walks of life can go. It's a family place, you know, and we're a family place. It's nice to have that hand in hand and we'd love to see more of it. City leaders announced they received a $2 million grant from the state's Rebuild Downtowns and Main Street program. That money will pay for the first phase of the project. It includes the new main stage, terrace lawn for seating, and an ADA compliant parking lot. So what the structure is going to provide is just, um, you know, this, this feeling of, of permanence, and I think that residents will take a lot of pride in it, and I'm just excited for that, that energy to get, to get captured and held in that space. Eva Fisher is the public information officer for the city of Carbondale. She tells me construction will begin in late spring or early summer and take a year to complete. And while construction on phase one hasn't begun yet, the city is already working on funding for the second phase. There will be more of a marketplace kind of set up in the plaza. So think, you know, like corridors, places where your vendors can set up, uh, places where you can get food and more beverages. There will be a sound barrier as part of phase two that's going to go along the railroad tracks. The city hopes the venue will attract local and national talent and entertainers. As for Vaughn, she says it cannot be built fast enough. It's going to be great for the town as well. You know, not just people that are in this part. It's going to be great for everyone who lives here, people that live close by, and just the, the whole community. In Carbondale, Colin Bailey, Heartland News. The city is also wanting your help naming the venue stage. You can find all the information in this story on the KFES News app.